Hey guys, I'm Amanda Cosina of Cosina Creative Photography and I'm an Orlando-based newborn photographer. So today I'm going to show you a few tips on how to take some better photos of your baby at home. So this is kind of like a do-it-yourself newborn session at home, but by any means this is not a replacement for doing a full-on um, professional newborn session. So here are some tips. First off, um, make sure you choose the right room in your house. And so how do you do that is finding an area where there's a lot of natural light. So um, I chose this section of my studio because there's a nice big window right here. And if your window is um, or a sliding glass door or any kind of area where you see a lot of natural light come in. Now, if it's a lot of natural light, what I recommend are attaching like sheer curtains or getting a sheer little blanket or shower curtain and have it taped up to your window. Because what this is doing is this is creating a natural light or like a soft box that can kind of bring the light in. So I don't recommend um, photographing your baby with the overhead lights on as well or any lamps or different, um, you know, lighting sources like that. Because when you mix up the light, it makes the coloring look a little weird. So especially if you're trying to do your own photos at the hospital, I definitely recommend turning off the yellow hospital lights. It'll give you some much better pictures. Okay, second, I recommend a room that can easily be heated up. So if you do have a smaller room, that's good because that way if you use a space heater, that can keep the room nice and warm. Or you could turn on your house air conditioner to be more in the warmer side, so close to 80 degrees. And you could also get like a space heater and that way you could have that whole area warmed up. Babies like it warm because if they're cold, they get a little bit fussier. So the warmer the room, the more relaxed the baby will be. Third, get a sound machine of some sort. So I like this Hush sound machine. You can get it off of Amazon. And what's good is if you keep the white noise going, it'll help keep the baby relaxed. So um, just to recap, have natural light, a warm room, and a sound machine. Okay, now that your environment is set, we're gonna go ahead and get started. So um, where you're gonna place yourself is close to your light source. So right here, my light with the window shears is gonna be my light source. And then I'll have my boppy pillow ready. And then if you don't have a boppy pillow, I recommend getting some towels and washcloths. So the point of having this is that you wanna place your baby at an angle so that way their head is above their body at an angle. So for instance, right here on this boppy pillow, the baby's head is higher and then the bottom is lower. So if you're gonna use a towel underneath your blanket, you're gonna have your towel right here and then your baby's head right here. So also, if you're gonna be doing this method, I recommend having washcloths here so you can kind of roll them up and place them next to your baby to kind of wedge them in place. Also, for doing this, I recommend having your baby swaddled because if they're either awake or they're not swaddled, they'll startle really easily. So if you wanna get some nice photos, kind of swaddle them um, like this, that way they stay sleepy and relaxed, okay? So you can either have your towel like this you could have the boppy pillow. So, um, and then this of course would be underneath a blanket. So um, the reason why you want your baby's head higher than their body is that way you're not photographing them above their nose, okay? So if you do that, your angle is gonna look like you're shooting up their nose. So you'll see the insides of their nostrils and that's never a good angle. What you wanna do is have, um, have your baby at an angle so that way you're shooting down their nose. Also too, the reason why I have um, the baby's head placed right here is that the light source is from behind them coming down their face. So you can either have it like this or have baby kind of angled so that way the light is kind of coming from like a side angle like this, kind of going down so that we have a nice shadow under their nose right here. Okay, so um, that's a good tip for lighting too if you're gonna do your own hospital photos is that if you have your baby in the bassinet at the hospital, kind of wheel that bassinet over to your window so that way the window's behind the baby and that way the light kind of falls down their face and you can photograph them from above. So now, um, if you have any kind of cool blanket or fur with like a texture, um, what you could do is, um, I'll actually use a towel since I think everybody has towels at home, um, is you could take a blanket of some sort and kind of lay it out flat. Okay, if there's any like wrinkles or folds, those don't always look the best. So what you're gonna try to do is space out your blanket so that way it's mostly flat. And so you can see my towel here and then I've got the little washcloths there. I'm actually gonna grab the washcloths until after I put the baby there. So there we 
you go. So I've got the towel pillow there. Okay, and then very carefully, you're gonna place your baby right here. And then ho always holding on to the baby until the baby is in a nice position. You'll take this, bring your hand underneath the blanket to kind of wedge them in with washcloths. So you could do this with a couple different washcloths. Like that. Let's put one more over here so it's a little bit more even. And then also if the baby's head needs to be a little bit higher, you could put another washcloth underneath their head to kind of create that angle that I had talked about. Okay. So now, as you can see, the baby is kind of angled down like this. So next, I'm going to grab my phone so I can take a couple pictures. Okay, once you have your baby in position, um, a safety tip I have is to never step away from your baby. So don't leave your baby here on the floor or step away. Always stay within arm's, arm's length. So um, once your baby's in position, you've got your light source coming down their nose. And please note too that the light right here is really, really bright. And so you'll see kind of like some lines and things like that. If you do see that, move a little bit farther away from your light source so that way the light becomes more diffused and less harsh so that way you see these lines right here. So in a normal situation, I would not photograph this close to your light source because I don't want these lines unless a cloud comes by and it kind of diffuses the light a little bit more. Just like now, the light just diffused a little bit more so now it's very even lighting. So then you could take your phone or your camera if you're gonna use a camera though, I recommend always keeping your camera strap on you because you never ever wanna risk dropping your camera on your baby. So I've got my phone pulled up. So instead of just doing a picture like this, so like taking a picture where you just go, oh, that's cute, and this, from this angle, you have to be a little bit more strategic. So um, playing like this, if you kinda of go above the baby and then kind of angle down. Just kind of like if you're gonna take a selfie, you wanna do it from above, cause that way this stuff looks a little bit better. And instead of going like this, the same thing for your baby. You're gonna kind of go up and over and then hit, take a picture. And then this is a much better angle than if you were to go like this, okay? So with this, that's the first shot I took and you could see up their nose and again, you don't want to see up the baby's nose. This angle is a much more flattering angle. Okay, so we'll do, now that there's a cloud, I'm gonna do one more picture, I'll go close, right there. And now I have a much better angle. Now, just a little bit of a disclaimer is that taking their own photos at home or at the hospital is not a replacement for professional newborn photos. A lot of these poses are done by a trained professional after taking several newborn safety and posing courses. Some of these photos are also even Photoshop composites. So if you see a baby that looks like this, then please don't try this at home because this kind of pose is the kind of pose where I usually will do two or three shots, edit them together to get this final image. Thanks so much for watching. I hope these tips help you take better photos of your baby either at the hospital or at home. And if you have any questions, feel free to comment below. And also, if you like this video, like and subscribe to my channel.